Is the room ready? I'm pretty sure I specifically asked you to prepare it according to their preferred style. If the merchant wasn't able to provide us with the furniture, he could easily look for other merchants who are willing to do their job correctly. Or is it you who is not doing your job correctly? Oh, why, hello there, traveler. I see you've awakened. <laughs> I must say, you slept like a hibernating animal. <laughs> Perhaps the effects of the tea were a bit too much? <laughs> it's good to see you awake. You might want to stop struggling. Those chains are holding you tight. Pulling on it may scar your wrists. Ugh, their yelling is too loud. Oh, Sandro, I see you've come right on time. The traveler has just awakened. I presumed much. Their voice could be heard from outside. Will you stop complaining? If you won't stop, then I'll make you. Now, now, Sandro. He's here. They're getting on my nerves. <laughs> ah, Sandro. You and your temper. You need to calm yourself. Patience is virtue. Unlike you, I have no time to be patient. I had other matters to attend to before you called me in here. Oh, but I thought you'd want to join me. Especially with this matter. Uh. You've got my letter, I presume? Yes, I did. Hmm. So you really got them locked up, huh? I thought we weren't allowed to keep them against their will. Oh no, I won't. They're literally chained up in a cell. I know. They won't need to be once we convince them. Convince them? Did I miss a key detail in the letter? Or did you fail to mention it? <laughs> What's wrong with a little bit of surprise? I'm sure you're glad that you came. Mm -hmm. Care to explain? Ah, uh, yes. Leave. So? Are you going to explain or what? <laughs> I guess I owe an explanation to you and the traveler. But first, would you like some tea? Is that supposed to be a rhetorical question? <laughs> I'm just joking. To the point, please. <laughs> Always in such a rush. Okay, I'll get to the point. I was asking the traveler to join the Fatuli. What? Oh my, my eardrums. They just might pop because both your voices. I know, I know, traveler. You already told me that you won't be joining. Are you mad? Are you really thinking of recruiting them? They are a great asset to the Fatui. They could help us with our goals, Sandra. Has your liking towards them clouded your judgment? I can assure you that there is nothing wrong with my judgment. Have you not thought about the many things that could go wrong? There is a high chance that their flying traveling companion already warned those that are close to them. Hasn't the traveler made many companions in many different nations? We could have multiple people coming our way right now. I know, I know. Also, I refuse to believe that the Traveler came here without any backup plan. For all we know, there could very much be a tracking device on them, which would mean that anyone could be coming for their aid. May I also add that we are an enemy to the Traveler. Why would they want to join us? Has Her Majesty approved of this? Calm down, Sandrone. You know me. I wouldn't do things without thinking about them twice. Hmm. It's so good to make sure that you didn't miss anything. Better be safe than sorry. I've already notified Her Majesty of my plan, and she has no complaints. I also thought of all sorts of possibilities, and made sure that nothing went wrong. I already checked if the Traveler had any tracking devices. As for their traveling companion, they are preoccupied at the moment. Relax, Traveler. Nothing happened. Just a minor head injury that may take them about weeks to wake up from. <laughs> minor, she says. Oh, please. They didn't die, didn't they? And what if they wake up earlier than you thought? Or what if they get found by someone? Oh, my dear Sandro. Of course I've already thought of that. And so they're... <laughs> being contained. For better measure. What a hassle. You said it yourself. Better be safe than sorry. Uh, let me shut them up. Stop whining about your companion. You heard her. They're not hurt. 
So stop with your constant questioning. No, no, Sandro. Use your words. I've already tried that, and it didn't work out well for them last time. All oh, right. You two have met before, haven't you? It wasn't pleasant. <laughs> Perhaps you were too rough, says the one who drugged them and locked them up. I was gentle at first, but they didn't listen. Of course they didn't. They seem to have a hard time understanding instructions. <laughs> uh, I cannot take their constant whining. <laughs> Don't worry, traveler. As long as you comply, nothing bad will happen to her. If you'd further evaluate exactly how we'll be making them join the Fatui, it would be great. Ah, yes. Traveler, join us. Very convincing. <laughs> See? They don't want to join us. I'm sure they'll change their mind with a bit of convincing. Hmm. Listen closely, traveler. I do not want to make this any harder than it is. I've already told you why you should join the Fatui, so it's your turn to take your pick. No? Why not break their bone? Maybe then they'll be convinced. <laughs> That's not a sort of violence, unless needed, Sandron. Hmm. Traveler, I know you have some reservations towards us. Reservations? I think that's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> Traveler, I assure you, we can help you. Help them? Why would we help them? You see, Traveler here has been searching for their sibling with no success. Their sibling? You mean the- Yes. That's who the Traveler is searching for. If you join us, Traveler, it will be way easier for you. We can help you get in touch with your sibling very easily. What we are doing is inhumane. Inhumane? <sighs> really? What we had to endure was inhumane, you ignorant imp. Have you not thought about what we had to go through? What the gods made us go through? You people praise the gods without knowing their true nature. Those same gods that you worship oh so much are the same gods that won't hesitate to throw you down a pit if they deem it necessary. They do not deserve all the praise and love. Just look what they did to Conria. Just look what they did to us. You think they care? <laughs> How utterly naive you people are. If you people weren't kneeling and praising them, you'd be nothing more than a hilly churl, a monster. And yet you're here telling us that what we're doing is inhumane. We're doing what needs to be done. You'll be thanking us once we're done with our work. Now, now, Sandra, calm down. You also know how our line of work can be. Many lives have been lost because of us. And so what? Hasn't many lives been lost because of those gods as well? Hasn't many souls suffered because of those gods? What we're doing is nothing compared to those hypocrites who call themselves a god. Yes, Sandrone. The gods have their own sins to repent for. But we cannot deny that what we are doing is indeed wrong. Hmm. Traveler, I know that our line of work has been, and possibly will always be, morally wrong. But aren't you tired, Traveler? Aren't you tired of those gods? I know you know, Traveler. I know you know of their lies. I know you've been questioning them and their actions. I know you want answers. And yet, when you ask them, they avoid the topic, don't they? And then you're back working for them, working and cleaning the mess they made. And you're still miles away from reaching your true goal. Finding your sister. Traveler, if you join the Fatui, we will not force you to follow our methods. And we will let you work on your own accord. Traveler, you have to know that everything is a lie. The people, the gods, the sky, the stars. It's all a lie. I know that you know it, Traveler. There is no point in denying it. You know that there is something wrong with this world. But you just can't seem to grasp precisely what is wrong with Tevat. We will show you the truth, Traveler. 
the truth hurts, yes. But it'll hurt less once you learn it now than later. Do not be deceived by their smiles and gentle voices. They are merely a decoy. A decoy for you to get distracted in order to cover up the burning house that hides behind it. Do not fall victim to it. So what do you think, traveler? Speak. <laughs> we'll need to give them some time to think. I'm sure everything that I've told them is a bit too much for their brain. <laughs> <laughs> that was only scratching the surface. Wait until they find out more of the things hidden in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let them know that once they join the Fatui. If they join the Fatui. Well, if they really won't join us then, it's their loss. I warned them, after all. <laughs> so what now? We keep them here? I don't think Her Highness will be too pleased with how we're treating them. <laughs> Since you've mentioned it, I've actually prepared a room for the Traveler. You've prepared a what now? <laughs> a room. The Traveler is our guest. And so, of course, I prepared a separate room for them to stay at. That's a little too much, don't you think? No matter who they are, the Traveler is still our enemy. At least for now. <laughs> I don't want to seem too unfriendly. <laughs> Traveler, I have already set up a room for you in the palace. You will be residing there until you can give us your answer. And don't even think about doing anything suspicious. Don't worry, Sandrone. They will still be chained in their room. And there will be a shield around the room for safety measures. Guards will be standing at all times. So you needn't worry. And I will personally be checking up on them every day to ensure that they aren't planning anything. I will lend you some of my puppets too, just to ensure that they're locked up and monitored properly. <laughs> I thank you for your assistance. Traveler, I have decorated the room according to your liking. You could have just given them an empty room with a bed, no need to go so far. Actually, you don't even need a bed. Let them crawl on the floor like the disgusting rodent they are. <laughs> I would, but I wanted the traveler to feel as comfortable as they can be. After all, we are trying to convince them. And who knows, this could become their new home. 